all well, I'm going to show you a quick bronze everyday makeup look today. So first of all, I'm going to click, clip my hair back. I didn't um, plan the matching clip, by the way. Just the first one that I grabbed. So I'm just going to take that. So I've already done my skincare routine this morning. So I'm going to go straight in with makeup. So I already have moisturize and put SPF on and stuff like that. Um, so first of all, I am going to go in with our amazing Glow Drops in the Rose Pearl shade. I am matching <laughs> with a lot of the stuff today, but um, I always just apply this. I mean, this is my favorite product, like I love it. I always apply this just here, like every day, like just like kind of around here. Obviously it can be used as a primer, um, as well, so I do actually then rub it kind of across my face. I was making sure that I've got loads where I want that glow though, which like tends to be around this area. A bit on the forehead. And that's added a really nice glow. So every day, like I tend to keep it very basic. Um, so I always go in with the Cracked Conceal and the Glow Drops, and sometimes I just kind of stop there. But the Cracked Conceal shade that I am is 3.0. Um, so our Cracked Conceal palette is basically a two-part palette. It comes with a color corrector and a concealer. So the color corrector can be used for like beard shadow coverage, under eye darkness, just to get rid of the kind of darkness under the skin. So as you can see, I'm just gonna apply some around the under eye area and get rid of that bluey undertone. And it's because the pink counteracts that blue. So as you can see, I already look <laughs> way more awake. So it's a cream it's a cream product, so it's super easy to apply and you can actually apply it using your fingertips. Um, I just tend to apply it with like a foundation brush so I can really blend it in. And then I go onto the other side of the palette using the same brush and just kind of use it all over the face. Get rid of any redness around the nose. I don't like to wear like loads of makeup this time of year because it's like hot outside and I just feel quite uncomfortable if I wear loads. But I always just kind of make sure that it's always nicely blended. And it's an amazing product because it's like the pans are so big. We've done that on purpose so you can like really use it all over the face um, and not use like the whole product at once, obviously. So that's me finished with the correct conceal. And like I said, I wanna go for like a bronzy look today. Um, so I'm gonna use our Sculpt and Soften. I do actually use it, the palette in light. I'm just gonna use a um, kind of contour brush. This will allow it to just me to blend it out and I just start by adding it to basically areas where I would like get a tan. Um, I'm not really going to do the contouring part today um, but I'm just gonna like I said add it to places where it would just make me look a little bit bronzed. Um, so always bring it onto the cheeks. I always like bringing it on the tip of the nose as well. So like imagine if you were sat in the sun, where would you kind of naturally get that tan? And then if you feel like you want to kind of blend it away a bit, go in with the brush that you applied the Cracked Conceal palette with and just kind of knock it back. So like I've come too far down here, for example, just knock it back a bit. And then on the forehead, always good to have bit of bronze on the forehead. 
down the nose, chin, and then onto the neck to make sure it's nicely blended. And you can definitely go in and contour um, properly and then going in with a big fluffy brush, blend it out and making it look more bronze. It's more of a natural look. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply some mascara. Obviously this is an everyday look, but I do want to add colour. So I'm just going to apply some lip balm, making sure those lips are super moist. And then I'm actually going to go in with our lipstick Life on the Rainbow and just adding in a small amount. And because the lip balm sits underneath the lipstick, it kind of turns into more of a tint. So it doesn't mean that you have to have the full kind of lipstick. It's like you can add like a nice colour. Um, and then last but not least, I'm just going to go in with a bit of blusher. Adding in that nice colour. So as you can see, very natural, bit of red and a nice glow. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Bye.